beneficial molds occur naturally in our organic soils. Please follow these recommendations to eliminate the visual properties of the trichoderma without losing the protective benefits of the naturally occurring mold. I'd like to take a moment to talk about a condition that occurs in our plugs, generally in the winter through uh, spring. Sometimes because we use all organic media in our plugs, we can develop a mold and this is a trichoderma penicillium or mocor. They are there as a protectorant for the seeds and the cuttings and really work to help suppress diseases that can affect your crop negatively. So you wanna have these beneficial molds present in the soil, but they're not attractive on the plugs, especially if you're going to retail customers. So I wanna show you how to manage that if you come across some in your inventory. It's very easy even if you have one plug just to wipe the surface and that goes away and it won't come back, but you still have the benefits of that mold inside your uh, plug. Some of our product comes bagged in 50 counts or 100 count plugs. And if you notice some in the bag, you can get rid of it just by pushing on the bag, shaking the bag up. And if you just shake it up like that and give, give it a good shake, what that does is that disturbs, disturbs the mold and Visually, it'll go away, but again, it's still there as the benefit to your plants and your cuttings and your seeds. If you're receiving any kits from us and you notice it in the kit, if you just take your hand and rub over the top of the kit, because you'll see it on the top of the plug, that'll push the mold away, it'll disturb its growth, the fuzz will go away, and you'll have a nice clean kit again but you still retain the beneficial molds in that plug. For our customers that receive orders in our cases, I wanted to go through a similar process for the same purpose of breaking up that mold if you encounter it in a full case. So we'll open up, open up our case of plugs. You'll see it's completely wrapped up. And I see just a couple on top. Well, what you'll do is grab this bag and then start to jostle it around. And you kind of loosen the plugs up in the bag. And that helps disturb the mold. And you can even take it out of the box and really, really get it shooken up. Put it back in. Remember, once you've shaken the plugs and you've gotten rid of that white fuzz, the trichoderma bloom, you still have that beneficial mold inside your plugs helping to protect your seeds and your cuttings from disease. And remember, when you're done, you pulled out the plugs that you need, take your plastic, seal it back up, and that'll help maintain the moisture in your plugs and help keep them good, ready to use the next time you go into your case. And remember, Shaking up the bag or box will help eliminate the strong mold growth. You can also add some water to help with this process. In storage, keep the bags tightly sealed to prevent further growth. Once the plugs are planted and being watered, the mold will disappear, but you will still receive all of the natural benefits of the mold. For more information, please go to iHort.com or give us a call at the number at the bottom of the screen.